Hello everybody, Tim the Train Guy here again with a quick review of the Alaska Railroad Rotary 4 Snowplow. This is a pretty loose model, the real thing. The real life Alaska Rotary 4 was only in Alaska, for, I think for a short time, because only like two or three photos exist of it. And it was made of steel. And it had like a cupola on it. and So it really isn't modeling the real life engine snowplow however it is just a little fictitious thing and i think it's really neat um it has the operating rotary snowplow blades on the front and those come on when you give power to the model it doesn't propel itself you need an engine to do that like in real life and this is actually quite neat you got a little thing that would in real life you could blow the snow to one side of the track or the other. Um, it doesn't have too many separately applied details other than the, uh, what it probably would go to a pot-bellied stove inside, a little stack, and a brake wheel on the back. That's about it. It has lots of molded in, though. Lots of step ladders and steps that I think would easily become broken. I'm glad not they didn't because I didn't have the original box for this. Um, I was a dumb kid, and I threw it away. <laughs> um, and this um, headlight lights up really nice and bright as this thing goes down the track. Um, it, it sounds like it's snowing outside. This is Florida. <laughs> yeah, we're coming into a cold snap soon down here. Um, but yeah, there's molded in doors on the side and on the back and the one coupler on the model is back here um so yeah i like all the detail that's molded into the um blades on here if it would focus 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 you want to focus there we go i mean that's pretty accurate detailing they could have just made it like a disc that spun around but no, they decided to make it all detailed up in here, and it looks nice. And I applaud MTH on that front. <laughs> um, they made this snowplow in a lot of road names. I saw it in Pensy, New York Central, Conrail, a uh, couple others. I've seen a lot of Conrail ones that were yellow, but... Um, this is a reliable product, I'll say that. It's never given me any issues. Um, as long as I've had it, no issues whatsoever. It just lights up and it rolls along nice and sweetly with its nice metal trucks. That was like one of the big things to me, like, holy, this thing has metal trucks. And I was used to like the little Lionel train set cars I would get at a uh, hobby stores and the used ones from the MPC era. I'm like, wow, this thing has metal couplers and metal trucks. And it doesn't, like, flicker on curves like my cabooses? Wow! <laughs> oh, man. Good times, good times. Um, I haven't featured it on the channel before, so here it is. And it's... Oh, creepy. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a jacket right now. It's very cold outside. <laughs> But underneath, we don't have too many details, but we do have some brake rigging, like details. We have some air tanks, and we have come on the on-off switch for the rotary plow. Um, I don't know why you would want to turn it off. Maybe if you're like, oh, I my layout is based in springtime, and I just want it for some reason, and I am going to run it without the plow on as a rotor as a equipment move because i'm stuck up like that <laughs> um but yeah i say if you're looking for something with some nice whimsy though i'd like some action to your layout and you want some more wintry stuff get one of these these are great um i don't know how much you, my approximate for how much you could probably get one of these for is between 70 and a hundred dollars because it is a rotary p um, like a moving piece and mth went out of business so i don't know so 
I'm not like up to date on it, but that's what I would assume right now. Um, other than that, let's get this on a train and we can get it going plowing some imaginary snow. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video on this um, product. It's probably not too unusual and and everything, but I think it's a nice little thing. And it hasn't been featured on my channel yet, so I thought I might as well do it before next Christmas. <laughs> oh man. Um, I meant to use it this Christmas, but I packed it away and didn't come out. <laughs> So, I decided I'd take it out now, seeing that it's cold outside for some reason. Um, so yeah. The, I'd give this product a good 8 out of 10. It completely flunks realism, but you know what? It's nice, it's reliable, it looks nice, it, it's reasonably quiet. Except for when it's starting up, it kind of sounds like a pencil sharpener. But other than that, this thing is extremely nice. It's quiet. All the little squeaks you heard are the, are the Menard's freight cars and the coach behind it. Um, and before anybody asks, it's meant to represent sort of a warp train. Like going out to go clear snow. So, no, I didn't just smack a coach on the back of a freight train. Anyway, that's all for me tonight. Slash today, whenever you're watching this video. Um, so, I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.